Hey everybody, Sean from Movie Assault here, and it is time for a haul video. This time out, it, this is actually two hauls combined into one video. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I went out on a Thursday, took the day off just to hunt for cheap Blu-rays, and had a pretty good day that day, uh, but I didn't get a chance to do a video. Uh, and then this past Saturday, I went out um, just sort of to kill time and picked up a few other things. So I've just sort of combined this into a... Uh, half price books, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Big Lots haul video. So that's probably what this is going to be called when you see it on the channel. Uh, so I'll show you what I got from uh, half price books first. I got three things there. First up is a um, Blu ray DVD combo set of Black Swan, the rather bizarre but still quite good uh, film from Darren Aronofsky. Um, this is uh, I did have this on DVD uh, when it first came out, and uh, this is just a much better set than the DVD that I had. I had it, um, and it came with a slipcover in DVD because I bought it when it was a re new release, but uh, I believe I sold it, but um, much, much rather have this in the collection. And then on clearance, I picked up Apollo 18. This is a found footage film. Uh, supposedly of the last manned mission to the moon, which was never announced to the public because things happened. And um, this was, um, I've, I, I have seen this. This doesn't star anybody that I am familiar with. Warren Christie, Lloyd Owen, Ryan Robbins. But uh, uh, for three bucks, it's worth adding to the collection. Definitely worth adding to the collection for three bucks. Also got this on clearance is Ben Affleck's Argo. Uh, this is just a phenomenal film. If you have not seen this, definitely check this out. This, Even though I knew how it was going to end, it still had me on the edge of my seat uh, through the whole thing. This is, this is a really, really good flick. So that's Half Price Books. Uh, Dollar Tree, um, I went to this past Saturday because the Weekly Wow was again featuring Blu-rays and DVDs. I went to three... Dollar Trees, it was kind of half-hearted this weekend. I wasn't sure I was going to find anything, and I really wasn't that preoccupied with, with buying anything. Um, but I did find two things that I thought were interesting. Uh, one is High Voltage with David Arquette and Luke Wilson. This is about a musician who's apparently killed by lightning and then brought back to life and then finds herself with strange powers, I guess. Uh, came with a slip slip cover. Um uh, for a dollar, I'm, I'm going to take a shot on it. And then this has kind of been a film that has been on my radar uh, as a, if I get a chance to, I'll watch it. Uh, it very bizarre looking, but it's called Frank, starring Michael Fassbender and Maggie Gyllenhaal, Domhnall Gleeson, Scoot McNary, uh, about a musician who refuses to take off this goofy mask, played by Michael Fassbender, and his name, believe it or not, is Frank. So that's Dollar Tree, obviously not a huge haul there. So I went to Dollar General, did a little better there in terms of number of movies, but uh, only two actual purchases. The first of which is this triple feature, uh, 300 Troy, the director's cut, and Alexander revisited the final cut. Um, and I have not seen the, I have not seen Troy or Alexander uh, but I have seen 300, and it's well worth watching. And based on the weight of this, it looks like it's all three are on separate discs. So uh, definitely worth adding to the collection. And then this is another movie that's been on my radar and just has been uh, a movie that I have not been able to sit down and watch just by the stars have never aligned. So hopefully I will finally get a chance to watch Lost in Space, the 1998 reboot of the old 1960s TV series, which of course has been rebooted since then on Netflix, but I've never seen this one, so I want to check that out. And then I went to Big Lots two different times, and this is what I got, and this is the majority of this video. This is uh, eight actual discs. Um, first up, I got the Mark Wahlberg version well, the Tim Burton version of Planet of the Apes starring Mark Wahlberg uh, from 2001. I've seen this once. I didn't particularly like it, but I wanted to give it another shot. And I think I paid five bucks for this. So it's not a bad price. Give it another uh, chance. 
picked up the usual suspects for three bucks uh this is this really belongs in anybody's movie collection uh it's it's a probably overrated film but it is a decent watch and if nobody spoiled it for you definitely worth seeing uh, I don't know if this is worth owning or not, but I picked it up because I haven't seen it. It's Independence Day Resurgence. Of course, this is the sequel to the 1996 uh, Roland Emmerich movie Independence Day. And I have heard nothing but bad things about it, but for five bucks, I'll add it to the collection, give it a shot. This is a film, this is a total blind buy. This is called The Counselor. Uh, it stars um, Michael Fassbender, Penelope Cruz, Cameron Diaz, Javier Bardem, and Brad Pitt. I don't know anything about this, although I did look up the reviews after I bought it, and they haven't been particularly kind, but uh, with a cast like this, it, it will be interesting to watch, if nothing else. So if you've seen this, let me know uh, in the comments below what you thought of it. I uh, picked up another Mark Wahlberg uh, related purchase. This is a double feature. This is Shooter and Four Brothers. And this is also another blind buy. If you've seen either one of these, let me know in the comments below. I have no knowledge of either of these films other than I've heard of them. Um, I don't really know much about them. The cast looks pretty good on Four Brothers uh, with Tyrese Gibson, um, Andre Benjamin, um, Terrence Howard, I believe. Uh, so yeah, if you've seen this, let me know. And then, um, if you remember a few videos ago, I picked up the Star Trek pack with Star Trek 2, 3, and 4. So I figured I would collect the other three, uh, Star Trek films that I did not have on Blu-ray. So I picked up Star Trek The Motion Picture from 1979. This I saw in theaters. And uh, I believe it's probably unfairly maligned because a lot of people were expecting something like Star Wars. Um, and it was rather slow, not glacially paced, but it was rather slow paced compared to something like uh, Star Wars. And it seemed very uh, focused on making everything look better than Star Wars in terms of the special effects. Um, so the end result was probably a mixed bag, but I liked it. Uh, and then I picked up probably the most maligned, and probably deservedly so, of the original cast, uh, Star Trek film, Star Trek V, The Final Frontier. This one was directed by William Shatner. Um, and uh, I don't know. I It's mainly for completest purposes that I bought it. But Star Trek VI, The, the uh, Undiscovered Country, pick this one up. This is, of aside from two and four, this is one of my favorites. It's you know, what's the adage? The even ones are the even numbered ones are the good ones. Uh, but Star Trek VI, The Undiscovered Country, um, really like this one. And this was a fitting farewell to the original cast uh, on the big screen. So I'm glad to have that one. So there you go. That is the result of two hauls over the past couple of weeks. Uh, didn't spend a whole lot of money, but added a whole bunch of stuff to the collection. So uh, stay tuned to the channel for more reviews, more hauls, more pickups, and other stuff that's movie-related here on Movie Assault. And please, if you've seen any of these films or uh, know anything that I should probably check out as a result of me picking up these films, feel free to leave a comment below. want to hear from all of you. As always, feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy.